Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Guile here and welcome back to the Forged Alliance Forever promotional series. It's tip top pro level ladder action on the cards this afternoon to distract us all from that horrendous mess kicking off now in Eastern Europe. What is that man playing at? As if we all didn't know. We know exactly what he's playing at. He's trying to secure himself more time and power. The absolute turd. I actually got in trouble on my personal Twitter account recently. I <laughs> got partially suspended. Uh, for saying I hope Putin gets leprosy uh, and they ca came up with its little I know it's beneath me it was childish but I'd just seen some vi awful video of children in Ukraine hunkering down in the basement of their house while it was getting shelled and uh, I was upset but uh, yeah it was uh, you know they come up Twitter brings up the thing it's against a violation of Twitter's terms of service to wish harm on on somebody uh, I humbly suggest that somebody implies human being and that by extension Putin doesn't qualify but anyway I digress. That's enough of that. Anyway, we're here for a bit of faff goodness. Some news, first of all, though, coming in from Roey as I violently change tack from that. Um, he has liked to tell everybody that he's taken now full control of the promotional team side of things. A bit like a Sith Lord. Full control. And uh, he wants to, as we've said a number of times before, he's trying to improve localization on the website. So if you have experience, would like to improve the whole outlook, make uh, the website more approachable for people of your fellow countrymen. If you're not a native English speaker or one of the languages that's already been catered for, do get in contact. Best way to do that, I believe, is probably through the Discord. Just ask around and uh, someone will point you to Rowie, I'm sure. And if you're doing things on Discord and you haven't already joined, please join the Sanctuary Discord, guys. One of the big takeaways from the latest dev blog I did with Tatsu and Nine was one of the best things that people can do to help the project is simply to join the Discord. Uh, you don't have to even participate in any conversation or anything, but just bulking up the numbers is a real, real help, especially when it comes to presenting the project to publishers. It already shows that it's got a large amount of interest, a large following behind it, so do go and do that, guys. Anyway, that's enough of that. Quite enough of all of my blurb. Let's get on with today's game. As we said, pro level ladder. It's going down on Loki. Exciting stuff. I'm ready. You guys are ready, and the player is as sure as hell ready, so let's go on over to the game zone and see how we're going to get on. Ching. Ka-ching. Loki. Ah, oh, we haven't been here. In a while. Feels like an old friend who I haven't seen for a long time because I said something to offend his wife and and uh, yeah, we just didn't talk. But now we're back and it's all forgotten. So that's great. Checking out our players today. We've got Turin Taramba up here, over here in the red corner in the top right. He is going Cybrin Bless Him, opening first land and going land all day by the looks of things. And his opponent today, Tech House Noob, going UEF. How very sensible. And he is opening first land, second air. So I know you guys like to examine their glorious openings to see their build orders and what have you and copy them and pass them off as yours. So here you are. What have we got here for Tech House Noob? So yeah, first land straight into two P Gens, then two mass extractors, then uh, is that another one? And then another two mass extractors, then the air factory, and then all of the other P Gens, which looks to be about four. Eight after that, and then on to another land factory. What do we got here for Chirinchiramba? He's gone land factory, two, three P gens, and then it looks like he, it's hard to say because it might be going up there. It looks like he might be going mass extractor after that. One, two, three, four mass extractors, and then by the looks of things, onto the factory. So very similar. It looks like Chirinchiramba hasn't queued up quite as many P gens after the fact for as uh, Tech House Noob has. Uh, Tech House Noob actually getting a few of those in there before starting work on those others. So he's going to put, uh, by the looks of things, two more P-Gens and then getting involved in the Mass Extractor game. So anyway, that's what we're looking at. Pretty much standard. First few units are out on the field. All engineers initially for Turin Charamba. We've got two engineers approaching the left-hand pass, the western pass for Tech House Noob, but we've got a little bit of early lab play coming out from the blue corner as well. Mech Marine, a little hobo there, hurriedly making its way towards that city pass in the center with a diligent snoop following in behind him for a little bit of intel generation. He's driving straight into a building there, clearly hasn't passed his test. Um, very, very shame. Passing a Cybertruck, there he goes. Out into the opposite side of the city on the other side of the wall there where exactly is he headed with that well it looks like he's gonna lie in wait oh no he's got an attack move up here so he's expecting to 
run into some kind of engineer either on some sort of mass mass extractor building operation as you can see pushing its way up towards the top left hand side of the screen or indeed just going to try and disrupt potential mass harvesting operations with this attack move coming in down here but look at that a mole out from Chirincharamba has revealed the impending attack and so Tristan here is saved at least for the time being and he's going to be able to keep that well at arm's length as we've got a defending mantis in here from Chirincharamba to swat that aside. It all might seem like poultry stuff but all these little cat and mouse games in the early early game can lead to bigger advantages later on. If you uh, fall behind initially, it's just something you're going to have to catch up. What have we got now as more units funnel out onto the field? We've got a T1 bomber pushing out eastwards for Tech House Noob and a scout plane buzzing over the top of the main base. On its way to the main base, the bomber will pick up one engineer kill in the eastern pass. Is he going to stick around and try and kill this one? It certainly looks like it. Bombs away. No little micro intervention from Chirincharamba means... Bernard there isn't going to make it back for Christmas. How very, very sad indeed. Bomber now closing in on the main base. Doesn't get a bomb away on its first pass, though. Have we got any anti-air queued up from the land factories? Yes, we do. First Sky Slammer rolling out there. Very nice to see indeed. For some reason, my volume is down. So I'm just going to turn that up. There you go. Excuse the windows ping in the background there that will all be thanks to my children getting on my computer hopefully all the other sound levels are fine otherwise i shall be redoing this from the start which is uh, always fun to do a little solid band of mantis now pushing through that main city center and encroaching on this little group of three mass points over here they're going to catch one uh, engineer at least and kill one operational mass extractor as this game starts to heat up now we have also got one or two UEF units from Tech House over on this side. Looks like they may have bagged a few kills. This strike has got three kills to its name, so certainly has probably picked up an engineer kill around here. There's one smoldering wreck there and another one. That will have stalled expansion onto these three mass points as well. And Chirincharamba actually pulling his comm now and moving out down the other side of that mountainous divide. Classic formation on Loki to start building a land factory. We've also got a little bit of Kong movement out from Tech House Noob, currently in that little midpoint pond on the bottom half of the screen, and he's actually looking aggressive right now. He's going to push himself up onto that plateau, going to put himself in shouting distance of Chirincharamba's own Kong as well. Getting excited at the prospect of some ACU on ACU action. Mantis gank a lone striker up at the top left hand side of the screen and if there were any build orders set up for tech house in that top left hand corner they have been cancelled we see a couple of engineers heading back to safer territory on that left hand side more units from cybrin forces coming down through the city center potentially about to sandwich this group of t1 spam this group of strikers from tech house over here but instead just gonna lie in wait for a bit of a regroup there we have it now that they've all caught up it's gonna move in with uh, initially a pretty solid formation present as many guns to the enemy as possible at the same time to see micro being employed effectively so Chirincharamba having built that land factory pulled his commander back and is now stomping his way over towards the west mirroring the movement that Tech House has made only slightly behind Tech House now very close to that forward land factory we saw Chirincharamba throw down a while ago cheeky couple of or trio rather of mantis at the bottom of the screen managed to blap down a few mass extractors all three of these and a radar station taking a quick look in total mass accrued 7.3k for tech house versus 6.5 that's pretty that's pretty significant differential right there 
in totals. Turinchi Amber, though, about two or three mass production ahead currently of Tech House Noob. Forces mingle once again just northeast of Tech House's main base. Top left hand corner finally pacified by Tech House as he sends those few units left after that little engagement over here. They continued up into that top left hand corner. And now engineers are going to follow up to try and reclaim that territory. So that will be the first corner to be grabbed, I think. Whether or not it gets held or not, though, that's another thing. Turinturamba's com not too far away. His attention, though, currently on this other little band of T1 tanks belonging to Tech House. That's an aggressive place for... An upgrade right there, going for gun damage, and instead of destroying that Cybrin factory, Tech House has actually captured it, so if this game goes on a long time, if he can manage to get an engineer back to the main base, he will be able to utilize UEF and Cybrin tech, but that's a whole lot of ifs. Ladder matches rarely go the distance, as we know. What have we got here? Little... Engineer drop from Amber, airlifting a couple of NGs onto the scene. They get straight to work on a radar, and then it's going to be Land Factory, and presumably after that we'll see the capturing of those mass points. Gun upgrade at 44%. This is quite a investment that Tech House is making here. It's keeping his comm immobile, and it's going to be absorbing an awful lot of resources little bit of mass being floated for Turinchuramba, but Tech House Noob running at a deficit of minus, 20, minus 27 so far. And he's still a ways away. He's, well, he's about 65-70% done, maybe. On that upgrade, it's coming along in reasonable fashion. And when that is completed, there's going to be a lot of damage that he can use, or a lot of firepower he can apply to Chirinchuramba's main base if he's feeling gutsy, but in comes a T1 gunship, a jester from Chirinchuramba. Taking down an engineer initially before opening up on the commander and then switching targets onto the other engineer. Definitely makes sense to try and deny this tech grab if he can. But there is the gun upgrade. Zef Amp completed. And this now could present a bit of a problem for Chirinchuramba. Although he has got access to those T1 gunships, of course. Probably not a bad idea for that land factory to start producing Sky Slammers. T1 anti-air, and it looks like that's what he might be doing. Indeed, he is. There's the first one. Should provide him a little bit of cover for that comm, if he can get some of that out in decent numbers. But there's not a lot going on in terms of general expansion from Churincharamba towards points of interest for mass harvesting. We're getting a steady stream pushing down this way towards where the commander's located. But we have made a grab up towards the top left hand side for Tech House for instance. So he's sitting pretty on those four mass points up there. And that's actually reflected in the mass generation totals. It's 31 to 21 and that's a huge advantage especially when Tech House is already up 2k overall as we've already discussed. Chirincharamba now taking direct fire from a new wave of strikers inbound from Tech House Noob. That's an unupgraded comm, so 10,000 base hit points and regular damage for him. And interestingly enough, Tech House not making a beeline straight for the base. It looks like he wants to move up and try and isolate this force over here as opposed to immediately trying to trash this base maybe he wanted to wait for a decent number of sky slammers first of all to materialize he certainly got that now there looks to be some six or seven sky slammers maybe that's overcooking it maybe it's about four or five actually but still that should be enough to protect the commander from the occasional jester that's going to drift in just like this chappy here tech house 
Still with the base 12,000 hit points. Gun upgrade by itself doesn't add hit points, of course, but it certainly helps you get extra HP through veterancy promotions. Now Chirin Charamba possibly threatening the main base. What have we got in the way of defenses down here? Not an awful lot. We have regular spam filing out of these factories, but no real point defenses or anything like that. No defensive emplacements. And they are both now converging on each other's bases. So we're going to have to go to split screen to keep an eye on these two different theatres. Chirin Charamba with a little bit more assistance from fellow ground forces. Tech House Noob though with a lot stronger comm. Putting out a lot more damage. He's had one rank in veterancy already. He's got himself a little bit surrounded here though. But not enough Mantis to really threaten him. More forces filing in behind him all the time. It is now looking very much like we might be in a bit of a base trade situation. Tech House focusing in on the Mantis first of all. It's a shame he hasn't got some Lobos in the mix here to take down these structures quickly. We do have some at the cliff edge over here. Perhaps once he's taken out enough of the Mantis, he will bring those to bear and trash this base as quickly as possible. But Chirin Charamba now also on the warpath. With that high cyber and regen and a ranking vet recently pushing him up to 11,000 hit points, he's more or less at full health. And now the fun starts. Both of these guys properly getting stuck into assaulting the main base. And if you check the minimap quickly, the top left-hand corner has actually changed hands while we've been chatting about the action going on in the center and at the main bases. And the bottom right-hand corner has been taken by Tech House, but there is a transport that has offloaded some two, four, six engineers. And there aren't currently any point defense emplacements to kill those off so we'll keep an eye on that tech house not going straight in with his commander to destroy everything but starting work on a land factory first of all chirin Charamba into the yellow so sub 75 percent of his base health on about 8,000 hit points still has an awful lot of mantis with him though tech house getting work done though with the spam you can see Looks like Chirin Charamba's already given up on ground production. All of those land factories no longer producing anything. Generated eco. If we take a quick look at the UI in the top right, it's actually flipped now. Chirin Charamba putting out about 33, 34 versus the 19 of Tech House. And that's only going to drop by the looks of things further as the bottom right-hand corner seems like it might be transferring power. Nope, all engineers have been killed. We've got some land units in there now who have wiped the rest out, so they are reasserting control. So it's one corner each. But Tech House is down in terms of generated eco. However, he is the first to eradicate his opponent's main base. If we zoom out, go to single screen, the threat has passed for Tech House and his comm up here. The base is destroyed. Whereas Tech House still has his main base and Chirin Charamba's running out of reinforcements. However, he has got a very healthy looking comm now back up into the green at 9,700 HP. No gunships for you, of course. No T1 access to gunships for the UEF. Surely one or two T1 bombers wouldn't go amiss here. Oh, don't land your planes there. Taking some fire from those Mantis. Engineers over here trying to get a T1 point defense down. Chirin Charamba might have spotted it. He's sort of weaving in that direction. Certainly doesn't want to allow that to go online if he can avoid it. But look at this. Tech House now in control of the main base. That comes, of course, with the access to the core mass points. But not only that, all of the reclaim from Chirin Charamba's old base. So, total mass 
accrued so far. Pretty much neck and neck, 25k apiece. Tech House Noob back in the lead, maybe. Although it's hard because sometimes that might be down to reclaim. It's hard to judge who is where. But he's certainly sitting on more territory and more important territory. Turin Charamba's new bases that are springing up are here and here, since he hasn't been able to smack down the main base of Tech House Noob. That's not Noob, that's definitely Noob. As if there's some clear difference between the two. Lots of fire being traded on the approach to that northern base. Tech House doesn't have the firepower to break through, I don't think. We're getting a lot of land factory production up here from Turin Charamba, who Looks like he wants to try and overwhelm Tech House with mass T1 spam. He's still going at the main base down here. Do we have any operational defenses yet? He's got three or four engineers working on this point defense now. I think it's the first one. No, we have got a plasma cannon back here. Are we going to get a bit of a point defense creep? Slowly making its way out to Turin Charamba, perhaps. That is the defensive perimeter of that PD that Trin Charamba is just currently outside of. And that will probably keep the rest of these factories in here safe, but Trin Charamba will be able to take pot shots at these corner ones. He's got a lot of production potentially sitting up here that he can apply pressure with, but it all takes time to man produce them first and then maneuver them out around into that main base. And Trin Charamba constantly, constantly having to micro his commander lest he find himself suddenly mobbed by inbound T1 spam. So he's got to continually assess and reassess the situation in Tech House News base. And there you can see that forward cannon opening up on him. If he wasn't aware before of what he can attack, he certainly is now. He's got to give that a nice wide berth doesn't want to go up against that and risk shedding more HP. He is back up into the green, though. He's got three ranks in veterancy, so 13,000 hit points at full health. And a large force amassing down here on the lower level of... I suppose it's a canyon, isn't it? It's sort of a canyon. A grassy gully or valley, canyon-ish, if you will. You can imagine some kind of adjoining river once upon a time. Linking these two bodies of water, and now there's just these puddles to show for it. One would hope that doesn't join up, otherwise this town is screwed. <laughs> Turin Charamba, though, once again on the offensive, and in the main base has managed to smuggle a few mantis up here into what was his old base and actually has broken through the defenses. There's no tanks in here to fight back with. In come a couple from the north. And a lot of engineers died in that little invasion. There's not much in the way of ground forces here from Tech House Noob. He might be practically outproducing his opponent in mass terms two to one, but he's got to get some ground forces in play, otherwise, what is it all for? Turin Charamba leading what he hopes, I imagine, will be the final assault on this base in the bottom left-hand corner to finally sweep it aside. But there are now triads going up on the other side, the western side of this base, and that is really bad. Not only do we have three Tech One Point Defense cannons absolutely shredding these Mantis, but these triads can properly pack a punch against that ACU. Oh, M, goodness. He's recognized the danger. He's trying to take them out. He focuses in on the middle one and then takes down an engineer or two. And he, crucially, he manages to kill off all of the other engineers before that bottom triad is completed. But he is now out of units down here. There are more forces amassing. But his comm is currently all by its lonesome. There's another battle brewing over here right by Tech House Noob's commander. Tech House Noob 
up to 14,400 hit points at full health. That's a two-star com. There's a lot of Mantis on the ground here, but remember Tech House Noob does have the gun upgrade. Chirin Charamba, though, taking a lot of point defense fire now. He's down to about 50% health. That's 6,000 hit points in layman's terms. More tanks being produced all the time and surrounding him on the south side. Chirin Charamba close to going into the red. Now pushing out further, further to the southwest. And Tech House Noob has managed to complete a triad. That one we saw under construction earlier. Chirin Charamba badly into the red. I think this just as well might be game. There's no way he's making it out of here. And if he does, he's not going to pull a win either way. He's too far behind. Very low on health. Some 700 hit points remaining on that commander. Getting a little bit of assistance from the hillside here that's blocking some of the inbound fire from that triad as he continues to bob and weave. The next wave of Cybran forces inbound. Can he take out that triad? Looks like he should be able to maybe. But look at this, 59 to 23. And, of course, we have T2 in place in this bottom left-hand corner. And Engineers building more point defense all the time. This is surely the end for Jorin Charamba. Sub-1,000 hit points now. More strikers moving in, taking yet more inbound fire that's not getting blocked this time by the hillside. Boom, baby! 23 minutes and 40 seconds. Jorin Charamba... The higher rated player loses out to Tech House Noob, but only due to pretty quality play. That uh, Zef Amp that looked a little bit risky over here, the large investment paid dividends in the end, and he was just successful. It came down to a base trade, and he never got his hands to Interamba on Tech House Noob's main base. And that really was the final nail in the coffin. Coffin? It's not a thing, the coffin for Interamba. Uh, short one today, guys. If you fancy something longer, a brand new epic went up yesterday on Patreon. Remember, it's only a dollar a month and it really does help. So do check that out if you feel so inclined. Hope you enjoyed it. More content to come as always next week. But until next time, stay well and stay safe. This is Guile signing out.